Hi and welcome to a new Decred monthly recap. Let's get started by talking about the new Decred website. The Decred website and messaging has been updated and is now live at Decred.org. The new messaging is straightforward. Decred has money evolved thanks to its governance capabilities. Decred has the ability to evolve based on the will of its coin holders to build and integrate new features. The new website proposed uses simpler messaging while relying on docs.decred.org to fully educate viewers on what exactly Decred is. It also uses sleek, updated graphics, and a new color scheme compared to the old website. The work to complete this website was approved on Politea, Decred's proposal platform. The total budget is $7,660 US dollars payable in Decred. This budget does include translations for the new website. The proposal passed with 97% voter approval with a 59% voter turnout. Over 24,000 votes were cast. And now let's look at Decred development updates. For Decred's wallet to Crediton, work is ongoing to allow for voting on individual T-spend transactions. The Treasury Spending tab will display pending T-spends and the ability to vote. On the home view, users will see notifications of new active and not yet voted T-spends. Ticket details page will show Treasury key and T-spend vote choices that have been set on the VSP. Politea developer Luke PP has posted an update regarding the Politea 2022 proposal. The proposal site has been updated to version 1.4.0. The majority of this release centered around importing the legacy Git backend proposals into the Trillion backend. Comments can now be edited during the first five minutes after they were posted. The edit window is a plugin setting that can be adjusted as needed by the system admin. All edits are publicly available through the API. The front end displays an edited tag on the comment. User experience improvements were also introduced. Proposal authors can now set the start and end dates of the proposal to plus or minus two years from the current date. Censored comments now show the reason they were censored and the admin who censored the comment. Proposal vote statistics are displayed using an easier to understand format and the draft proposal workflow was improved. All legacy Git backend proposals were imported into the Trillion backend. Also regarding Politea, a bug was fixed where empty comments were accepted along with many other tweaks and improvements. Politea's graphical user interface progressed towards the new plugin architecture, including showing a warning module for external links. Each plugin can now export effects that developers can reuse and compose in their Politea-like apps. And added a Politea GUI scripts command line interface package. DCRDX is a non-custodial privacy respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. New updates include displaying fiat equivalents in various places of the UI, implemented fee rate caching and expiry to resolve a long-standing issue of using outdated fee rates. Also optimize how frequent the fee rate is fetched from various sources. Clarified the message about disabling a DEX server. With the recent account discovery features, a server can be disabled and re-enabled as needed without paying the registration fee again. Fixed block monitoring for DCR SPV wallets and improved connectivity error messages. Added support for common Electrum SPV wallets like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. The DEX client can communicate with a local Electrum wallet and use its funds for trading. And made improvements to the native SPV Bitcoin wallet. Ethereum support is nearing completion on the DEX. The ETH gas fee cap was increased for redemptions when base fee was too high. Added the ability to export the Ethereum wallet to MetaMask, along with other improvements. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. CPU mining was significantly optimized. This is useful for mining on testnet. Fixed broadcasting of winning tickets when there are multiple next block candidates. And other smaller improvements. DCRD implemented a new private key generation to replace the generic version in the standard library with any adapter code it required. GoDCR is a lightweight desktop GUI wallet with integrated staking, privacy, polite voting, consensus voting, and more. The transactions page was updated. A new overview page design was implemented. Updated wallet settings page to the latest UI. Added a DEX server selector, the ability to use custom servers, and payment of the registration fee. Fixed handling of wallet deletion. Implemented a new staking tab design. Numerous bug fixes and UI tweaks. Translation updates. And updated the stake shuffle page UI. Following the rejection of a proposal to fund future GoDCR development, the Radar team has announced that it will no longer be actively developed by them. Developers on DCR data are looking to expose more treasury mechanics like quorum progress, voting start and end dates, and pi keys used. 
The Decred community has been active. Let's check out what they've been up to. Decred Dex developer Buck was on the State of the Market live stream. A lot of bug fixes, over 140 closed issues and merged pull requests go went into this release. So, and that's that's high for a release for us. So if you're still on 0.4, which I believe Decrediton is, uh, keep an eye out for 0.5 because it does open up quite a few uh, new things um, and it should make the overall experience quite a bit better. Yeah, we're going to see lightning on decks um, and the trade times, it, it will reduce trade times. If you're trading on an L2, L2 market, say you're trading um, your lightning decred for lightning Bitcoin, um, those trades would happen virtually instantly. Um, if you're trading on an L1, L2 market, which is I think where we really, where DEX will really show its power is when we have L2, L1, L2 markets. Imagine trading, um, instead of having to loop in or loop, loop out of uh, of, bit, of your Bitcoin lightning and having to create on-chain transactions, imagine if you could reload your, or rebalance your Bitcoin lightning network channel by paying Decred. That's essentially what an L1, L2 market would be using a low fee asset to re to reload you know lightning network channels on on a high fee uh, high fee blockchains so as far as tor goes uh we we do support tor um john chap jc john chapelo has done uh has really focused on keeping the tor on the server and the client in a in a functional and ready to use state and he's even um, experiment. We've even experimented a little bit playing with a mainnet Tor server, so we know it works. We've done trades on mainnet with Tor, um, and yeah, privacy is 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 critical for us. Uh, some some day somewhere, some unelected bureaucrat is going to decide to censor Dex. It's going to happen, and we need to make sure that we're ready for that. So Tor is a critical part of our infrastructure. It's going to be ready to go at at a drop of a dime, all the time. It's always going to be there. Decred Society has produced new content as well. The treasury was designed for one purpose, to fund the longevity of the project. There are a few reasons behind the decision to build it down. The first and most obvious was to pay for Decred's development long into the future, and to encourage new developers into the space by having a clear method of payment. The second reason was to make sure Decred's core team didn't have to go searching for funding, which would inevitably compromise the integrity of the project. Decred's treasury receives 10% of the block reward, and in total will receive just short of 2 million DCR when the coin supply is fully diluted. This distribution mechanism means funds are released slowly over time, the treasury can't hold a negative balance, and funds will continue to go in for the next 100 years. These funds are also accumulated, which is in contrast to other projects where they have to either be spent or they removed from the coin supply. Over the last six years, Decred has been able to build a war chest of over 800,000 DCR after receiving approximately 1.2 million DCR. May 8th, 2022, Decred decentralized its treasury. Spending is now controlled by the stakeholders and no funds can be spent without their approval. As always, there is a wealth of information on offer. And once again, you don't have to trust what people are saying, you can verify. Decred has made massive steps forward to become fully permissionless in every area of its network. Community updates can be easily found and viewed on Decred Magazine. This month we had a few interviews as well as a few articles written. Peer-to-peer -peer electronic corporation written by Tivra details how we can move towards a system that is as effective, as productive, if not more, than the corporation, but without its deadlocks. Tiver writes, it seems to me the idea of uniting currency and capital, stake and wage, and skin in the game with sovereignty steps in a direction that satisfies both sides, and creates a self-directed, autonomous collective that can collaborate across borders. The next article is Decred iterates where Bitcoin is weak or broken by Ronnie Amato. As suggested by the title, this article explores how Decred has improved upon Bitcoin in terms of security, governance, being a store of value, distribution, being self-funded, having a peer-to-peer -peer exchange, and being private, among other improvements mapped out by the author. Ronnie ultimately believes that Decred represents crypto's best chance at achieving Bitcoin's original mission. Both of these articles are worth reading completely in full, which you can do by visiting decredmagazine.com. Introducing Decred community member Yoel Paulo Santana, whose goal is to reactivate Decred Brazil's Instagram and Twitter accounts. 
Much of the content you see being posted on Twitter in Portuguese from the Decred Brazil account is his work. His goal is to continue to spread the word about Decred in Portuguese and eventually work for the DAO with an approved proposal. And then we have Decred developer Philemon who has been working on several projects including DCR Dex, DCR Data, and VSPD. And who has seen firsthand how embracing this environment is for new developers wanting to take their abilities to the next level. He says the DCR Dex devs are nice and very welcoming. They have provided a healthy environment to grow as a world-class software developer. He says, I couldn't ask for a better team. Mon PR sourced two freelance journalists, Shiraz Yagadi and Waid Pesserle, who frequently write for Cointelegraph to write for Decred Magazine. Decred thought leaders also provided commentary about the downfall of Three Arrows Capital and price predictions for other coins. Let's quickly review network statistics. Current ticket price is 238 Decred, worth around 7,000 US dollars. Total stake DCR is close to 66% of the circulating supply. The hash rate has climbed 30% to 84.56 peta hashes as the proof of work mining ecosystem is still being sorted out after the subsidy change. The treasury is over 800,000 DCR, worth around 24 million US dollars. We are at 14,325,843 DCR in circulation with a max cap of 21 million coins. 62% of the circulating supply has been mixed by the stake shuffle privacy feature. Thanks for watching this Decred recap. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.